Hey guys, Tech Mancho with a video for you guys now. If the earpiece on your iPhone isn't working, you want to follow these steps that we're going to show you to fix the problem. So let's get started now. If the earpiece isn't working, the first thing you want to make sure is that if you recently installed a new screen protector, temper glass, or even a case, it could be potentially blocking that earpiece that you see, which is really small up top here. Or if you have an older phone, it will be right in the middle. Basically, we don't want this to be blocked. As you can see here, it could be blocked right here or very top because the way the screen protector or the tempered glass is on so that's the first indicator that you want to maybe remove that and see if it's working if it stopped working after you installed or put a new case on now the next thing that you're going to want to make sure is that the volume is all the way turned off sometimes if the volume happens to be just very low by accident you want to just make sure it's all the way up and it sounds very silly but sometimes we accidentally do that and forget to turn it back on now the next thing you want to ensure is that you clean that your piece part as you can see here it's so easy to get things stuck especially dust and debris on it so you can take a microfiber cloth to wipe down any dust or debris if you have any small brush or pick basically any dust or debris in that small hole can block it up like this one for example right we want to ensure that it's cleared as possible so that there is nothing getting on the way it will stop working if there is anything in it now the next thing you want to do to troubleshoot is turn off by going into your settings your bluetooth connection and the reason why you want to do that is you might have a another external speaker or mic connected that might be getting the sound routed there and that's why you can't hear on your earpiece so turning that off will make sure that the sound is only coming out the earpiece itself and if it's working or you can see if there's a device connected here you want to click on that icon and disconnect from that by clicking on that icon right it will disconnect it and you should be good to go now if you happen to have an iphone 12 or older model like the one i have here let's show you something you want to do this if you have an iphone 12 or older model is that if you go into your setting of your iphone and then go to accessibility and from there on we want to go to audio visual so we'll go to click on hearing audio visual there is a noise cancellation here as you can see here right you want to turn this off and see if that makes a difference for you this noise cancelling again it's only available on the iphone 12 model or older sometimes it can actually interfere with the ear pizza itself so we want to turn that off and see if that if that helps for you now another thing to check out after the ad is that if you're still having an issue is force restarting your iphone so in order to force restart we're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down so volume up volume down one after another and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black you see the apple logo up here will let go of that side button so it's going to be volume up volume down quickly and then i hold on to that side button this is known as a force restart basically shuts down the phone software and then reloads the code so if it's a software related issue it will fix your phone now this method is completely safe you can do this as many times as you need to and once you see the apple logo just let go of that side button again make sure it's volume up volume down one after another quickly before you hold on to that side button as i mentioned doesn't delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps everything will be there basically shutting down the phone soft and reloading the code to fix it if it's a software related issue now if you did that your earpiece still isn't working the next thing to do in your setting of your iphone is going into settings a uh, general go all the way down here which says transfer reset iphone click on reset we're going to do a reset all settings now reset all settings will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos apps contacts documents whatever all it does is resets uh things like network related settings so if you have bluetooth connected devices or if you have saved wi-fi you'll need to reconnect again any custom keyboard a dictionary will get reset any uh custom home screen layout will just get reset and any location privacy setting will get reset now these are only the settings themselves it's important to do that because there could be a setting that you don't know interfering with the earpiece not working lastly if that didn't work it's time to see if you can update the software on your iphone to fix it by going to your settings general software update and check if there's an update out sometimes what happens is a previous update might have caused the issue for certain functionality not to work on your iphone so you want to update your iphone give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes uh, to update it make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charge during the update and hopefully after doing the update your iphone is working and the earpiece is working 
And if you find that it simply doesn't work after going through all these troubleshooting steps, that most likely could be a defective earpiece which might need to get replaced. You may need to take it to the Apple store to get it diagnosed. But in any case, I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.